Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th, okay? Right around the 10th, so we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for a message today? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? King of Coins, King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is all about stability, financial stability, building foundations. We have a hard worker here that is very committed, very committed to building a solid, stable foundation. This is being practical, being responsible, being grounded, uh, focusing on stability. Eight of coins, putting in a lot of work. We have somebody here that is really working hard to build up their financial stability. Now, the King of Pentacles is a planner. This is somebody that is very experienced, has worked uh, hard, has already gained a lot of life experience because we're talking about a king here. This is somebody that has the skills to build stability and is going to be putting in a lot of effort and trying really, really hard to uh, lay that foundation or make it stronger. Um, King of Pentacles is very focused, very focused on business, uh, money, and stability. So, and work and work and work and work and hard to create it with that Eight of Coins right next to it. Investigating, you know, it looks like we have this person that is doing their homework. Um, learning new skills, doing something, you know, reading up on it even. Somebody may be reading up on a way to uh, create this abundance because the King of Pentacles is the most abundant because this person does whatever it takes to build it. Three of Swords reversed. Now, Three of Swords reversed is on the path to recovery. I feel like we have somebody here that's been suffering They've been uh, hurting for some reason, but the Three of Swords reversed is on the path to recovery, leaving the past hurts behind, stabilizing. So somebody is stabilizing, okay? They're going to be putting in a lot of work, okay? However this resonates with you. So it is, it is a very stabilizing energy, leaving the past hurts behind, on the path to recovery, this is recovery. This is get going into some sort of recovery. Recovering something that may have been lost. Really, really focusing. Knight of Wands, acting, taking action right now. It's like, I got to do this right now. You know, uh, putting plans in action. So I do believe we have somebody here that is putting plans in action. This is somebody that is doing something. I'm not just, this is, the plan is there, and this is actually doing it. Uh, just doing it. This is a making, there could be an arrival here. I mean, the Knight of Wands could be an arrival. It's like a, a fast approach, things moving fast, because this person is so focused really 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 taking action done thinking about it i mean the king of pentacles is, has something huge to offer as well so we may have a king of pentacles it could be a taurus virgo capricorn that you know has something of value i mean obviously the ace of pentacles is in this person's hand so that is that is something to invest in. I mean, whoever is holding on to this golden opportunity has a lot of experience, okay? They have a lot of experience. They've worked hard their whole life. Um, they've created stability. This is something to hold on to. It is something to hold on to. Empress. Go figure.
figure. Empress. So Empress, the Empress is the goddess of love, right? She's the goddess of love and abundance. Okay, so this is beautiful. It's the beginning of a new life. It's time. It's time. It's time for this new life to begin. It's absolutely beautiful. There's there's tender loving care. There's unconditional love. Somebody is headed towards this Empress. Knight of Wands headed right towards the Empress. So there's passion, there's lust, there's excitement. We got somebody here that has a strong desire to uh, work with this Empress. Eight of Pentacles right above the Empress. This Empress is the goddess of love, right? I mean, everybody wants the Empress. She's... she's uh, nurturing she's loving she's creative she's a creator she's a creator she creates life okay she creates life she creates abundance with love so this is the birth of a new life it really is things are gonna happen fast there's some sort of fast approach The Queen of Coins. Now, the Queen of Coins and the King of Coins are a perfect match. This is a match made in heaven. It is, I thought I turned my phone over. I guess I didn't. This is a match made in heaven. This is this is a perfect match. This is, And it doesn't matter what sign you are. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a perfect match. This is uh, two people that have shared values. They, they, they're both holding value, okay? The, the, the pentacles are values. So there's so we got two people that have shared values that can create a new life. They can, and they, this is abundance. Create a new life of abundance and beauty. This is very motherly energy as well because... Queen of Pentacles is a mother. She's Mother Earth. And the Empress is the mother of all mothers. I mean, this is a mother. I mean, it's, it is the mother. Love. It's unconditional love. A mother's love of... It's love. It's love. It's nurturing. It's, it's devoted. We have two people that are very devoted to... And, and being practical, being realistic, putting in a lot of effort. Somebody is going to be putting in a lot of effort to create this new life okay these two people have the same values things are going to progress very very fast because this king is putting in effort Looks like this Queen of Pentacles is holding on to her value, though. She's holding on to her own. She may be very independent. This is very practical, whatever it is. But there's also some sort of desire or attraction here. You know, the Knight of Wands, that's lust. That's desire. That's action. That's... Uh, sudden as well leaving the past hurts behind on the path to recovery putting in effort we have a domestic goddess here as well with the queen of pentacles and the empress this is somebody who creates everything with love and brings stability and abundance because of the love Ace of Wands upright. Lovers reversed. World and Ace of Wands. Now these all came out together. Okay, they all came out together. So we may have had a separation here. We may have had a separation with the lovers reversed, but things are so that separation may be coming to an end. The world card is an ending. There could be the end of a partnership here that opens up a new doorway, starting a new chapter. 
starting a new journey. This is very exciting. Planting seeds with the Ace of Wands. Somebody could get pregnant if you're in those that age group, which I'm not, thank the Lord. But anyhow, lovers reversed. Lovers reversed is a separation. Um, I don't know if somebody has experienced a separation and now things are coming full circle. Now we have a new beginning. That's the end. The, the, the uh, world is a major completion of a project, a phase. It's over. It's over. You know, this is the end. Get prepared for a new life. Get prepared for an exciting new beginning where there's a lot of growth. There is growth here. The Empress is all about growth as well seeds are definitely being planted there if things are going to grow really 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 fast major new beginning after after some sort of separation focusing on the future with the world card major accomplishment that leads to success somebody is going to be starting a new i feel like it's a new project or a new new path it's like a new journey they are starting a new journey that does lead to success because there's love okay the empress is love okay and when you do it with love you will be successful it's the knight of wands next to the empress that is do it with love <laughs> This is the end of a false contract as well. Lovers is a contract, but it's right next to the world card. That is the end. We have an exciting new beginning here. Just go for it. Just do it. Just do it. Somebody could be doing something very spontaneous as well with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus and Libra here. With the Empress, we have... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a couple times, a few times, Gemini, um, exciting new beginning. Somebody's, something is about to start. Now the Ace of Wands is right underneath the Empress. We have a very, uh, I feel like there's a new, there could be a new sexual partner here with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands and the Lover's card. This is unexpected. It is definitely unexpected. An unexpected arrival. Some There could be an unexpected arrival here. Things happen fast. This is a new beginning. It is a new beginning with that World card. It's a major accomplishment. It's like the end of a chapter where there's been some sort of pain. It feels like there's been a painful separation. You know, you know, now we're moving towards the future. We're moving in a new direction. Get prepared for a blessing. The Empress gives birth to a blessing after pain, right? You don't get that blessing until after you experience the pain. So, but there is a blessing that is coming. It's beautiful. This is exciting. Somebody's going to be really, I feel like, stepping in or stepping it up they're in a they've got their mind made up and all done thinking about it just gonna do it just gonna do it doing it is gonna lead to uh, a new life put it that way sparks there's sparks here there's like sparks flying You think about the Empress, the Empress is pure love, okay, pure love. And I had to go put on white for this. And I don't know why, because I had on pink and I was like, no, I gotta go put on white. So white is about purity. So this is pure love. End of a separation, end of a, of a, sad situation where there's been some pain a blessing has come and this is a miracle it is a miracle it is exciting nine of swords reversed mm. high priestess 
Nine of Swords reverse. We have somebody here that's been isolating themselves. They've been worried. They've been distraught. They've been stressed out. They've been stressed out about a relationship. Not listening to their intuition, needing to listen to their intuition. Somebody is about to reveal something that they have been worried about revealing. It's like they've been worried about it for some reason. Maybe they've been worried about somebody's, you know, abilities, you know, because that high priestess is like a somebody that ha may have a gift, you know, a something, some sort of gift, you know, um, gifted, psychic, empath, tarot reader, medium, whatever. Um, high priestess. Worried, worried, worried about the abilities. High priestess. We may have somebody here that sensed that this was coming. High priestess is gifted, mysterious, very mysterious. Definitely a sexual energy here. Definitely. Don't let fear get in the way. Maybe somebody was intimidated. They were afraid. They were afraid. Maybe they were afraid to listen to their intuition, to listen to their gut. But I feel like there's going to be a reconnection here. Somebody has been in hiding. They've been isolating themselves. They've been thinking a lot. This is reconnecting coming out of hiding. Somebody may be deep, deep, deep feelings with the high priestess. The high priestess feels very, very deeply, observes. Somebody may have been observing, you know, and really worried, very, very worried about uh, following their gut, but I feel like they're going to follow their gut. I feel like there's going to be a get together. I feel like there's going to be a celebration or something like that. Some this is this is joy. It's happiness. I just cut it to the three of cups. There's going to be a get get together of some sort. There's going to be an arrival. Somebody is arriving. This person um, is wanting to put in effort. They're going to be putting in effort. It's like speeding. It's almost like really ready, really ready. All done thinking about it. All done worrying about it. I'm ready for my new life. This is a beautiful new life. The Empress creates a new life. Somebody is going to be uh, creating a new life. They're going to be creating something that is very exciting and it will grow really fast. I feel like we have two people that are doing it together. The answer is yes. We get the sun card. This is beautiful. Absolutely, positively beautiful. This is yes. This is a new life. This is a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. This is a life-giving energy. There's a lot of warmth here. There's a lot of love. There is a lot of love. So uh, this is a new beginning. It absolutely is. Get prepared. Okay, we get the page of wands now. This is exciting. This is an offer or an invite. This is some. This is a new suitor, perhaps that it that somebody has a lot in common with. There's a lot. There's shared values here. This is absolutely beautiful. It absolutely is. Don't worry about it. Just go for it. Just do it. Don't let fear hold you back. Do not. This is absolutely 100% beautiful. This is a yes answer. The sun card is yes. Ace of wands, just do it. Just do it. Eight, the knight of wands is act now. Think later. Do not let fear get in the way. This leads to stability. Oh, I mean, the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. These are two people that have a lot in common. It's a perfect match. This is these these are these two people have shared values and they can create the life that they desire. They have the skills to create the life that they desire together. Ugh. Ten of Cups. This is forever. This is happily ever after. It is. This is a beautiful home. It's a beautiful family life. This is a spiritual blessing. This is wish fulfillment. This is this is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. New beginning here. We have a beautiful new life that is that is starting, and I don't know what's happening, but I, I know there's a lot. There's a, there's a strong sexual energy here as well. Leaving the past hurts behind. 
following the gut, following the intuition, just doing it, putting in effort. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes, just do it. Take action. Somebody's really going to be taking action. The seeds are going to be planted and it's going to grow really fast into abundance. It's, I mean, where you can, where you're putting, this is going to work out. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. Okay. Good luck. 